Hey my loves, it's your girl D's Alter Ego back with another video for you guys. Um, I missed you guys. Happy New Year. Um, it is 2019. This is my first video of 2019. Um, today's video is just a soft glam look. Good for every day. Um, really quick and easy. Uh, you can do it for your 9 to 5 like me because I work at 9 to 5. So I sometimes like a, just like a soft glam look. Um, nothing too crazy. So if you want to see how I created this look, keep on watching. So, um, I already did my brows off camera because it takes me a little time to do my brows, so I like to do them off camera. I will um, be posting a brow video soon, um, so you can see how I do my brows. I use the Anastasia uh, Dark Brow Pencil. I like to use a pencil for my eyebrows um, because they're not so sparse. But um, I just feel like the pencil really gives me like what I need and it, it gives me the good tug and it just it just works. So I like to use a pencil um, for my brows, but I will show you that in another video. Anyway, so I've already prepped and primed my skin. The primer that I use is the Laura Mercier Oil Free Primer, which is bomb. So for this look, I'm just going to go in with my foundation. So today I'm going to use the CoverGirl uh, D70 Matte Foundation. They say this is non-transferable foundation. Um, however, I never tried it out because normally you put other products on top of your face, um, on top of your foundation, like concealer, uh, powder. So it's you can't really tell, so I don't know. Like, I'll have to just wear this by itself with no concealer and no contour and a highlight. That's a little strange for me to really see, like, if it works, but that's what they say. So I'm just going to put a few pumps on the back of my hand, like so. And I find that this foundation is better applied with a sponge, or you can use a brush and then go in with the sponge. I'm going to show you guys my dirty brush that I'm using today which is my Beauty Creations brush. I literally used it earlier, and I'm kind of, I'm really kind of like disgusted to show you. So, I'm gonna just go in, and then you won't even notice. So I put my foundation all over, and I'd like to use a brush first, and then go in with the sponge. Make sure it's nice and easy. Don't forget to go over your eyelids um, just to make sure that everything is very even, especially if you're not doing an eyeshadow look. You should definitely take the foundation over your eyelids. Make sure you push this back and get in there. The reason I like to use a, a sponge after, you see how like the foundation moves a little bit? It doesn't go on like smooth, so that's why you should use a sponge. Also, don't forget, do not neglect the neck. <laughs> and any other areas that I feel I missed? Because you don't want your foundation to be blotchy at all. You want it to really be a smooth um, canvas. You want it to be a nice, even canvas so that everything else kind of glides on. You never want to be that girl that's like, um, you didn't blend. <laughs> you don't want to be that non-blended girl. So today's sponge I'm using is the e.l.f. sponge. It came in like a seven pack. I just wet it a little, wrung it out, and it blew up. It's huge, but I really like to do this technique to really smooth out your foundation. Any foundation that you're using, like sometimes you just automatically go in with a sponge, but I like to go on with a brush because sometimes those kabuki, um, smaller kabuki brushes for foundation are amazing for application. They glide on the skin, but I also, I just need to go in with the sponge after just to make sure that everything was evenly blended and like I said this is a quick base so 
Let's see how I see. I still feel like here is a little blotchy. That's when you go back in, add a little bit more foundation. So once your uh, foundation is nice and blended and it looks like one clean surface, um, you can go in with some concealers. So today I'm using the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. These are their new concealers and this is in the color Walnut. I'm just going to use this as a, um, a concealer that is my complexion just to go under my eyes. And I find that these concealers actually dry down really fast. Um, so you should try to work kind of fast. So going back in with my beauty blender. And when I conceal, I like to sometimes go in with a concealer that's my skin tone first, just to conceal, and then um, go in with a brighter color to highlight. So once that's all nicely blended out, you can go in with your brighter um, concealer to actually highlight. And today we're going to use the um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I mean, everybody's been raving about this and I literally just bought it. So I'm new to this baby, which it's really good. And this is in the color uh, Medium Tan Sand. So I'm going to use this to highlight and like brighten under my eyes. So just a few strokes. This, this wand is huge, so you don't need much. You could literally just do like one stroke. And this might seem really bright, but it's not. It's just going to give you like a nice highlighted look. Back in with that same beauty blender. Blend for your life. <laughs> Blending out your foundation, I mean your concealer, is probably the most consuming part of doing your makeup. <laughs> it's just blending. Because sometimes... You're just blending forever. But blending is very important when you want to achieve a flawless look. Um, you need to make sure everything is nicely blended. Take it. Nice. Nice and smooth. If you are late like me and wanted to pick it up, um, it's available at Ulta. Uh, Sephora does not sell it. It's exclusive to Ulta. So you can probably uh, purchase it online or you can go to your nearest Ulta store. But that blends really well. And it's still like, you're highlighted, but it's still like a natural glow. Like, you got makeup on? Oh, you do? Mm, not sure. Nice snatch on my nose. You see that? Mm. I was using the back of the beauty blend the back of the beauty blender to blend that and the elf blender because this is not a beauty blender this is an elf blender and this sponge is really soft and nice it's actually a nice addition and i think this whole box like this is what it came in it was fairly cheap it was like 15 dollars and it came with a couple seven sponges so might be worth your time to pick it up. All right, so we are nicely blended out. <laughs> Let's still be blending. So now this is for where you get that nice chiseled look. Um, I'm going to go in with my flush stick foundation. I use it pretty much every day, so it literally has no label on it, but it's from flush. And this is in the color um, Hot Cocoa. And this is what I use to contour. Like, this is amazing. Like, this stick is amazing. It's so creamy. And it just literally blends into anything that you're wearing. Any foundation, it just, like, glides on. I, don't, I can't remember what it retails for. It's not that expensive. I got it from Ulta. But, like, if you want, if you're looking for, like, a nice creamy contour stick, and they always like my pictures on Instagram. So I want to shout out to Flesh for liking my pictures on Instagram. You guys do have great products. Um, 
So I'm going to start venturing out and seeing what other things that I like from you guys. But this is a one. I'm going to go here where you kind of have your natural contour and just glide this stick there. Pretty much up to there. Put a little on the nose. You want a nice little snatch nose or whatever. Little on that five head. Instead of putting a little down here, I just want to be going in. Beauty blender again. And just blend that out. And bringing it down here just gives your jawline kind of just like a, it's all like an illusion. You're just creating shadows. And when you create shadows, it makes, um, it gives your face just kind of like a different shape and a different look. So when you're literally applying makeup, all you are trying to do is create shadows and give yourself just like a different look for the day or a different look from when you don't have on foundation it's just you know it's just fun to play in makeup like I love it I know those the girls that support me and and watch my videos and look at my pictures love it too it's just fun it's just your artistic form of like expressing yourself like some people paint some people sing some people draw, some people sew, some people dance. Like, that's their artistic form. And people that do makeup, that's their artistic form. Like, they get to create every day either on their own face or on somebody else's face. And it's actually really fun. You see, that gives, like, a light. Oh, you snatch snatch. <laughs> And I do like to go in with my brush. brush. And this is also from Beauty Creations, this brush. Like I said, my brushes don't judge me. <laughs> but this brush is bomb. I use them every day, so I just use this, so I'm going to clean it tonight. But so that everything is even. But you see that shadow that I created? Just gave me like a whole illusion that I lost. 10 pounds, <laughs> which is an illusion, honey, <laughs> an illusion. And to be extra, 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 read all about it, even though this is a soft glam loop, I'm going to go in with my Lancome Dual Finish Powder. Um, I just put that on top just for a little bit more snatchness, <laughs> if that's a word. And then I'm going to go over my whole face with my... MAC, uh, Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish. You know how I love this. Um, I use it all the time. I'm just going to go over my face. Never ne neglect the neck. Down the neck. Everything to be very even. Now we are going to set that uh, concealer that we did. And setting my concealer, I'm using Asha Buttercup Setting Powder. You can purchase this online. I love Sasha Buttercup Powder. It's like almost the best setting powder on the market. There's so many different setting powders now on the market, but this is one of my favorite powders. One sponge will do everything, man. So I'm going to go in there with the sponge. I'm going to set right under... It's like one and done, honey. We're gonna go under that contour. So I go in with my Laura Mercier translucent medium deep powder, and I literally press this powder into my forehead just to create. I'm an oily girl, so. I like to catch all the oil before it comes. Catch that oil before it comes, ladies. So, <laughs> I like to pat this into my forehead to catch the oil, honey. So I do that. 
I don't let my powder bake for that long, so I'm gonna go in again with a, another Beauty um, Creations brush. This is kind of like their um, square brush. I can't remember the name, but this is a good brush. If you ever see this brush in the store, any brands, this is a good brush to actually brush away this powder because it gets really deep into those corners. So I'm gonna start down here because I don't want this to get ashy. Just brush that away, look how it glides. I don't know. Press that in and brush it away. Okay, so now we go on to, this is my Becca Bronzer Blush in Dahala. Uh, this is a very pretty color. Who said dark skin girls can't wear blush? You were wrong. Um, this blush is like a universal blush though. Look at that. Love it. Um, and this is very creamy. It glides on like butter. So I'm going to go back in with that blush brush. Dab a little bit because it's highly pigmented. So you do not need to use a lot. And make sure that you blend for your life, sweetie. So hitting that cheek again. See that color? Whew. And that's only a little bit. So you blend that blush in. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. Right on top of the contour. Bring it up some. And this is very highly pigmented blush. Highly pigmented? Okay, so we're almost done. This is really like a simple, this is really a simple look. So we're almost done. Um, And with this look, you can add lashes. I'm not going to add lashes. Um, I actually got lash extensions done, but they're like falling out at this point because I went to Jamaica on vacation and I just was swimming and snorkeling and just living my best life. And so when I came back, I was just like washing my face hard and it was like lash, 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 lash. So now I'm left with like five. <laughs> so I'm just going to put mascara with that girl and keep it moving. So I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in on Unveil. This is just a nice neutral brown color. Um, if you're a lighter skin girl, this looks so good on you guys. That brown looks so good. If you're dark skin like me, it's like really nude. Like it's like a nude nude for us. But for them, it's like a brown and it just looks like so rich. Um, but for me, it's like a it's like a real nude, but it works for this lip. So I'm not using a lip liner, but you can. I'm just gonna use the wands and literally just like outline my lips. See, that's like a nude. Like, are you wearing anything? But um, it's pretty. You could probably add a gloss over it, but if this is your nine to five look. I would just hold off on too much gloss. You can let it dry and then add a little bit more to kind of like enrich that color. Um, that's what I do, but this is good for now, girls. So I'm gonna just put on some mascara. Um, you can add falsies to this look, but I'm just gonna add some mascara. Uh, I'm using the ever so faded <laughs> LA Girl uh, Mascara. It's just their black mascara um, and it had like the gold over it. But clearly you can see that I've been using it because it's empty. But I will put the information down below. And what I like about this mascara is I like the wand because it kind of curves. You see that? It's curved. I like a curved mascara wand. Um, there's other brands that have great mascaras and the wand doesn't curve, so what I do is just bend it. You see my, like, three strands of uh, long false. mascara is on. Two things we're going to do. We're going to highlight and we're going to set. So, my setting spray is done. 
slay all day from Gerard Cosmetics. As you can see, it's like empty, but it still got me a little sprayage in there. I like to use a little smaller um, little eyeshadow blending for my, um, my highlight. So I'm using the Beauty Creations brush. Like I pretty much use all Beauty Creations brushes, and their brushes are amazing and they're very afford affordable. So this is just like one of their eyeshadow brushes that I'm going to use to highlight. Um, and the highlight that I'm going to use today, I might as well use my baddie chick, um, Amarizi. I just relaunched this, so if you haven't gotten it, get it. This is from the original one that I purchased at IMATS when they came, and I have so much left in here. It's a lot of product. I'm just going to... Give myself a little button situation here. I love to highlight the tip of my nose. Like, I don't know, like, I have to highlight. I have to highlight. Like, you know how they have those pictures that they were like, one gotta go. I'm like, no, not highlight. <laughs> it's so funny. Sweetie. 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 That's why I like to use the small blending brush sometimes. Just to like just get a nice I don't want to blind your co-workers too much, but I mean, you know, some of some of them need a little highlight in their life. They need a little uh juice because they just suck you dry. You need a little juice, honey. They're gonna see you and you're like, oh, you need a little juice, honey. <laughs> Let me help you out. Sweetie. How are you, darling? That's how you're gonna be speaking after <laughs> after this video, you're gonna be like, oh, huh, sweetie. How are you, darling? Nice to see you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is the final look, you guys. Hopefully, I, I have lipstick on my teeth. Um. So, this is the final look, you guys. I hope that you like this soft glam look. Uh, it's good for every day. Um. Yeah, so... And I, I didn't do too much, nothing crazy. I didn't even color correct. Um, this foundation is actually very good for $8.50. Um, I will put all the products that I use down below. And yeah, happy 2019. I'm coming for all things great and wonderful. It's going to be amazing. I'm just putting that out in the universe. And... Um, God will help me push me through and get everything that I want and everything that I deserve because I put in the time and effort to get it. But this is the final look, you guys. I hope that you love it. Um, just my soft, uh, pretty glam look with a banging highlight. So, um, if you like this look, definitely leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your girlfriends about me. Don't be a hater. All love, all positivity here. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Um, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram, these alter ego underscore. Don't forget the underscore, these alter ego underscore. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.